Focus, people. Let's stay focused. All right, I'm going to talk about this Malik Gilbert thing for a few minutes because I know your listening span is only three minutes, according to my research. All right, so Malik Gilbert was talking about transgender women and how he's attracted to them. And some women aren't women. Are coming out and saying, "Hey, I appreciate you know a man coming out and saying whatever." This man has three kids, whatever, and he's like, you know, I love all women, and you know. But here's the thing: transgender women are not women. They were not born women. No matter how many parts they replace, they're not women. Now, saying you're attracted to a woman and you not know that that is a trans woman because they're so good at what they do. If you ever watch the Maury show, you really can't tell. There'll be real women on it, and there'll be trans women on it, or there'll be whatever women on it, and you can't tell. And they all look good. You're just like, okay, these look good, but, you know, you're looking for an Adam's apple, you can't find it, and then find out that it's a man, and you're creeped out. You're like, da, No. Like, no. It, it turns off all the attraction. Like, no. I know. Like, I, I don't know. Don't, like, get away from me with that. Like, I don't want to be fooled. I don't want to be, look, I, I may love you as a person. That's fine. Go be with whoever you're going to be with. But for for my pre preference, for a sexual preference, nah. You are a man. I don't care if they gave you a brand new, fresh out the pack, uh, that I don't care. You are a man to me. It's just not happening. So I'm not attracted to that. Aesthetically, you look like a woman. Yes, I get that. Because you don't know that that's a, a, a woman or a man until, you know, you find out, boom, this is really a man. Then you're, 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 you're messed up in the head now. Now you're pissed off. So, but I can understand the initial look without knowing uh, you don't, you're just looking, you're just thinking out to a woman, like, oh, okay, there's a woman. And then I can understand the disgust when you find out that it's a man that you've been, you know, trying to, you know, buy a drink. And it's, it, it's, it's, for me, it's all downhill from there. Like, this has never happened to me, even though I have met them before. And I'm just like, you know, what's really going on here? Uh, but... Let me say this. You trans people, you need to be careful. Because, you can, listen, listen, you're talking about men being more open. You got these people who are trans and they're not open. They're keeping it a secret. And then you have all these, you know, incidents that are happening that are not favorable for somebody's life. All right. We just had a young man in New York, you know, take his own self out. Because he got teased for liking trans women. Because li listen, I, I don't, I don't care what this feminist culture tells you. There are a large group of people who are not with the program, and I'm one of them. Okay, don't, don't come up to. I'm, I'm, I'm like genuine. I can, I, I'm cool with talk, talking to you, but don't try to come at me on some old. I got a problem with you then. Especially if I tell you that it's not my thing. I got a, I got an issue with you now. Okay, so yeah, like, yo, I'm cool. You know, that's that's what you do over there. But don't come over here with the issue because then I got to take offense because I told you. It's just like drinking, you know, people trying to force you to drink, you know, peer pressure. Look, I told you no. I don't drink. I don't smoke. And don't try to peer pressure me into it. We can't, you know chill and be, you know, homeboys without you trying to get me to always drink, then, I, I, you know, but I don't hang around people who do that anyway. But nonetheless, so I get it from the initial look at not knowing. I get the, the, okay, that's an attractive person. I get that. You don't know that that's a woman. I get that. Then you find out that's a woman, it's just like, okay, you know, you did, you did your thing, homeboy, but I'm not into it. That's where I'm at. You, you, whatever surgery, whatever you, okay, fine, but I'm not with the program. But loving them as a person, I'm with that 100%. Do I love you as a person? Yeah, I, yeah, I don't have an issue with just 
you know, agape, you know, type of love. But yeah, that's cool, man, bro. That's that's what you do. I'll pray for you. <laughs> you know, in the name of Jesus, bro, <laughs> all day, you know, because we all need help. We all need help out here. Let's quit acting like some of us are just, you know, getting ready to get on the innocent boat and go up to heaven and everything's all good. No, we all got stuff we need to be accounted for. But I'm just saying, as far as the sexual preference, absolutely not. So Malik is going to try, he, he needs to clear this up and say exactly what it is because he is an icon in the African-American community. Uh, and he want, if he wants to be a spokesperson for just generally loving people, that's not an issue. But now people are thinking that you you undercover, you know, homosexual. And if that's your thing with all these women who are still chasing you around from New York undercover, then yeah, that needs to be revealed to these women. Are you straight or are you gay? You know, okay, fine. If you're just hanging out with transgenders and whatever, because they're everywhere, it's not like you can avoid them, then it's, that's, that's not a big deal. You know, people do that. But if you're taking them home and, you know, betting them, then you have a whole different issue and you're definitely gay. And, and if that's it and you're running around with these women, then you need to tell them that because there's that's a huge, huge issue in, in any community. And uh, especially the black community is a lot of down low people. And there's a lot of down low women who are doing stuff too. These women are not innocent. They are doing some wicked wicked things out here so people just need to you know be up front so i'm with that so malik you know i hope you clear this up because this is a big deal because you are a big deal in the uh african african-american community anyways your boy tone to peace love and happiness